Hi, I'm Tara Stiles, and today on The Yoga Solution, I'm gonna show you an intense cardio workout yoga program that you can do right at home. Let's get started. So we'll start in a downward dog, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes and use a big deep inhale to lift yourself all the way up here. Maybe swaying a little side to side just to loosen everything up here before we get going. And take a big inhale, lift way up onto your tippy toes. And then as you exhale, soften the heels, relax your head and neck and shoulders. So we're gonna round all the way at your plank pose here, rounding from your upper back all the way up and out the very top of your head and just simply hanging out here for a little while. Top of your head floating forward, heels reaching back behind you. And again, gently lift your hips all the way up and back to your nice downward dog. One more time just like that here, tucking your chin, rounding all the way out to your plank pose. Nice big long wave here. So this time we're gonna lower and lift a few times. So knees up or down, up to you. We're gonna lower all the way down to the ground so you're lying on your belly. Don't worry about getting all the way back up here. And then from here, plant your palms down. Again, tuck your toes, lift your knees, press all the way right back up. So we'll do that twice more like that here. So knees up or down, up to you. Bend the elbows, lower all the way down and then press down, lower all the way back up. One more time, just like that here, bending all the way down to the belly, and then all the way right up and back to your nice downward dog here. Relax your heels and head and neck and shoulders. Take a big inhale, reach your right leg all the way up and back behind you, downward dog split. And for this one, open up your hips and shoulders, make some space there. So we're gonna arc your right knee way in around, tap it really high into your right upper arm. Look a little ways out in front of you, bend your elbows, make a little shelf here, lift up in your hips and belly, and then we'll send the leg all the right back behind you, downward dog split. So same thing, starting twisting, bring your knee all the way down and across your body, really high here. Again, bend the elbows a little bit, make a little bit of a shelf, look a little ways forward, and again, send the leg all the right back behind you. And then this time, we'll lift your knee right up into your forehead, super high, hold it here for a moment, really round your upper back. And then this time, gently place your foot right between your hands, low lunge, push down big, and lifts you right up to a nice high lunge. And this time, press your palms together, bring your thumbs right up into your heartbeat, big, and to lift you up and then as you exhale spin around to your right side here elbow hooks right outside your knee then firmly push down with your top palm into your bottom to spin everything right open from here take a little gaze out in front of you a few feet lift up in your hips and belly enough to draw this back foot all the way forward here so sinking into your nice chair pose and a twist and we'll take a big inhale lift everything up to your regular chair pose and then around to the other side here so right elbow comes all the way across push down with this hand spin everything all the way open and this time, peek down to the ground, shift right into your left leg here, lift up to the right knee, and stretch the foot all the way right back behind you, back into this nice lunge twist here. We're gonna come all the way right back up into a nice high lunge, and then all the way right back down to the ground. Palms pressed down, step right back into a plank pose, and we're just gonna hold here for a few breaths. So nothing better than to get the heart rate up and nice cardio feel to this, to simply holding a nice plank pose for a few breaths. So if your breath starts to be a little shorter and faster, see if you can make it a little longer and deeper. So again, we're gonna lower all the way down to the ground and all the way back up a few times. So up to your knees, up or down, totally your call. Take it easy if you like, bend the elbows all the way right back down. And then plant your palms, tuck your toes all the way right back up for one. Again, two more just like that here, bend all the way down. And again, press down, come all the way right back up. One more time, just like that here. Bend the elbows straight back. And again, come all the way right back up from your belly. This time, lift your hips up and back to your nice downward dog. Relax your head and shoulders. Breathe a lot. So from here, we're gonna start to walk your feet all the way up to your hands, one step at a time. Once you're up here again, folding inward over your legs, let your head soft, let your neck relax. And we'll come into your chair pose from here. So bend your knees, sink your hips big, and help sweep your arms all the way up. And again, just holding here for a few breaths. So shoulders relaxing, gaze staying nice and calm and easy. And then this time, press down through your feet. We're gonna come all the way up to stand. Push down big, and inhale, lifts you right up. And then as you exhale, all the way right back down to the ground. Plant your palms, we'll step right back to your plank pose again. So lowering and lifting a few times, knees up or down, your call, bending the elbows all the way back. And then push all the way up for one, twice more, just like that here, bend all the way back. And again, keep breathing as you come all the way back up. One more time, just like that here, bending all the way back. And then all the way right up and back to your nice downward dog. Here, relax your head and neck and shoulders. Again, maybe sway a little side to side. 
So next inhale, take your left leg way up and back behind you, downward dog split. And again, if it feels good to open up your hips and shoulders, go for that here. So again, we'll do the same thing on this side here. Arc your left knee way high and around. Tap it to your left shoulder. Bend the elbows a little bit. Make a little bit of a shelf. Look a little ways out in front of you. And send the leg all the way right back behind you. Same thing, starting twisting. Bring your knee all the way down and across. Really high. Bend the elbows. Make a little bit of a shelf and then send the leg right back behind you. Downward dog split. And last one, take your knee into your forehead. Really high, lift up in your hips and belly. Hold for a moment. And this time, softly bring your foot between your hands. Low lunge. Push down big. Inhale, lift you right up to a nice high lunge. Press your palms together. Thumbs come right up into your heartbeat. Big inhale to lift. And as you exhale, spin around to your side. Your elbow comes right outside your knee. Then firmly push down to spin everything all the way upward. And again, look a little ways out in front of you. Lift up so you can draw this back foot all the way forward. Nice chair pose, twist here, spinning all the way upward. And again, push down, come right back into your nice neutral chair. And then same thing around to the other side. Elbow comes right outside your knee. And again, push down to lift your belly away from those legs. And again, take a gaze down, shift right into your right leg, lift your left knee all the way into your chest and stretch it right back behind you. Softly bring your foot right on the ground. Nice twisted lunge here, breathing easy. And again, push down, we'll come all the way back into a nice high lunge. Plant your palms right back down, stepping back to your plank pose here. And again, holding for a few moments. So staying nice and easy, top of your head floating forward, heels floating back behind you. So we're gonna roll into some side planks here, lift up in your hips and belly, keep the fingers of your right hand spread super wide, open up your whole body to the side, breathe a whole, whole lot here. And then we're gonna lift up in your hips, arc your top arm all the way up and over toward the front of you, holding and breathing. And we'll send it all the way back to the middle. And then same the other side here, lifting up in your hips a bit, keeping the fingers of the left hand spread super wide. Open up your whole body to the side again, breathe a lot. And again, lift up, arc the top arm all the way up and over. And again, we'll send the foot, the foot and then the hands all the way back to your nice plank pose. And again, we'll lower and lift a few times. Again, keeping that heart rate up here, knees up or down, up to bending all the way down to the belly. And again, push all the way straight back up. Twice more just like that here, bend all the way down. And then all the way right back up. One more time, just like that here, bend all the way down to the ground. And then all the way right up and back to your nice downward dog here. Relax the head and neck and shoulders. And again, softly, we'll start to walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat here, one step at a time. Once you do arrive upward here, folding and roll your head soft and let your neck relax. And we'll come right back into your chair pose here. So bend your knees, sink your hips big, and inhale, sweeps your arms all the way up. And just holding and breathing for a few moments. Nice, calm, steady gaze. And this time, folding up and over your legs, gently interlace your hands behind your back. Nice shoulder release here. Let your head go, your neck go, just relax. And from here, bring your fingertips down to the ground, press your palms into the ground. We're gonna try a crow pose here. So lift your knees really high, just like when you're making that little shelf here with your arms. Look a little ways out in front of you. Maybe one toe comes off the ground, maybe the other toe comes off the ground. Just breathe a lot. And then when you're ready, just plant the feet back down and we'll step right back into your nice downward dog, relaxing the head and shoulders. And then one more time, just like that here, walking your feet all the way up toward your hands, one step at a time, and folding inward over your legs. And we'll come right back into your chair pose, sink your hips, floating the arms up, breathing. And then as you exhale, folding up and over your legs, interlace the hands behind you. Nice shoulder release here, let your head soften, let your neck relax. And when you're ready, bring the fingertips and the palms down. Again, plant your palms, lift your knees really high. Feet never have to leave the ground. So if this is pretty new for you, maybe just hang out here and getting used to the position. Looking a little ways out in front of you, really lifting up high. Again, maybe one toe comes off today. Maybe the other toe comes off tomorrow. And just breathe. And again, when you're ready, come all the way and step right back into your nice downward dog and relax the heels and head and neck and shoulders. And then when you're ready, ease your knees down to the ground. Relax your hips, your heels, and your child's pose for a moment. And we'll roll all the way back up to sit. And great job. 
So there you have it, part one of an intense cardio yoga workout program. Stay tuned for part two coming up next. I'm Tara Stiles, and I'll see you next time on The Yoga Solution.